Just east of Dallas, you'll find a wetland that's a one-of-a-kind outdoor classroom. Today, in the East Fork Wetland, uh, the John Booker Sands Wetland Center, we're welcoming uh, Black Elementary from Mesquite Independent School District. When they arrive, they'll unload off the buses, and they just step out onto the boardwalk. We call it an immersive boardwalk hike. Uh, they go out for 20 to 30 minutes and make general observations. Oh, there's ducks back there. So the East Fork Wetland is about 2,000 acres mostly open uh, emergent wetlands, but we also have some hillside and some streamside and riverside riparian areas. Ooh, I'm on it. Wait, where? I can't see y'all's view. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. That light green right there. Oh, I see it. Okay, so there's two frogs on one of the stems right here and another one right here. Do you see them? Yeah. <laughs> I love watching them interact with nature, however they interact with nature. Look, a dragonfly. I think it's important because they're making those connections. Yeah. Oh, look, right there, there's like a ton. Oh my god, there's a family of fish. I like to go outside and enjoy the outside world, and I like to like see a lot of animals running around and look at them up close. All right, come on, guys, let's keep walking, see if we find other stuff. This isn't just a wetland outdoor classroom taking water out of the Trinity, this is a water treatment wetland that cleans up to 90 million gallons of water a day. This natural treatment system, our wetlands, is the largest man-made wetland system in the United States. And it provides a number of different ways of treating the water. There it's coming up. Uh, we use gravity. We use sunlight, we use plants in order to polish the water and remove constituents such as suspended solids, phosphorus, and nitrogen. This natural water reuse concept was crafted by John Bunker Sands, turning his family's cattle operation into a one-of-a-kind wetland. We got quite a bit of the sedge. Loretta Mokri helped come up with the idea. Before the wetland was built, this was an operating ranch. It had been leveled and ditched and drained to where everything was in big square pastures. Early spring until we get the first really hard freeze, you'll have Delta Arrowhead blooming. So at this time, we're looking at planting all of these gaps with giant bulrush. When you're ready, and I'll pull it out. No. So that we can fill in and have a fully vegetated marsh area that the water has to percolate through. Uh, this project is a tremendous opportunity to make good use of those water resources which are in our area. We are really proud to be able to implement a project uh, to use local resources to meet the needs of our local communities. You know, there's been a change in time, but it's been a change for the good so that we have the sustainable water supply at the same time that we're protecting the aquatic environment of the river as well as the aquatic environment that's here in the wetland. I have a son and daughter-in-law and five grandchildren that live in Plano, Texas. And developing this wetland as it comes through, I know that it helps provide water supply that they receive at their tap. This is water supply to my grandchildren. It just it makes you feel good. <laughs> yes, what do you have? I saw a shell. You saw a shell? <gasps> That's really good. I tell them, like, this water that is a habitat for other ecosystems, this is your drinking water. Like this is, you use it, you're gonna cook your ramen noodles with it, you're gonna flush the toilet with it, you're gonna shower with it. And that really gets their attention because after they start noticing that this affects me, that gets that buy-in. She said that also how they clean the water is um, with the, the little cattails that was in the water. It is really cool how you get to see all the plants and all the animals that make the water like clean and that's the water that you use. It was pretty cool, actually. So if you just glance right into the water, what do you see floating around on top? Um, yeah, a lot of minnows. When I think about the work that we do here. Yeah, you might as well pull off some of the big stuff. <laughs> oh, so there's the beetle in the bottom. See him right there? Yeah. And the work that we do here isn't just about students coming through and learning about what water is and how we recycle it. 
It's about creating that next best solution that is more powerful than we can imagine today. Oh, wait, they get a fish. We're not just hugging trees, we're hugging cattails, literally. We're immersing them into the water. We're giving them an opportunity to see what it might be like to either be a scientist or a biologist in this, or just someone that engages with nature differently than they did before. So if we can reach one student on that level, or many students, and then as they grow older and go off to college and say, this is what I wanna do. I was at John Booker Sands for four hours one day, and it's amazing what they did there. That's the difference that we wanna make in the world. That's the next best solution.